All right, the early trade walk is the best time for the customer to gain a realistic rather than inflated idea about the value of their trade. Do people fight you much on trades? I mean, are, are we given, when, when you give the customer a trade number, are they going, thank you, more than I thought? Ah, pretty much. Rarely. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. We try Shock, hold, shocking. We try shocking. Yeah. Shocking. Really? Too, to keep some money Even oh, good, good. good. And, and I'm glad you do. I'm glad you, you do. You say okay right away. It's like, yeah. All right. Then we're like, fuck, it gave too much. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. <laughs> All right, the early trade walk is the best time to learn about the uh, customer's driving habits and lifestyle. I mean, if you know how I use my car, doesn't it make it easier for you to make the presentation of the vehicle I came in to see? Yep. See, you're, you're, here, you're hearing me sell, selling you on this, okay? And obviously, I gotta, I'd have to sell Mike and Marco, too, okay? Um, the early trade walk is the best time to gain rapport building information. Again, you go out to my car and you find I'm a dog guy, I'm a golfer, you find out what my politics are so you know what to talk about or what not to talk about depending on yours. Um, I used to have my money and my daughter go to Auburn, my money and my daughter go to University of Georgia, so you would have known back then that I had daughters in, in college. By the way, both of those schools ruined them, turned them into socialists. <laughs> Yep. I'm very angry about it. Uh, I don't blame you. Damn it. I paid to have them turned into <laughs> socialists. What are you laughing at? Yeah. They make fun of me. Tom's a lib. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's all right, though. Right. We like him. <laughs> if you like him, I like him. Yeah. The right. sensible one. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> sensible yeah. one. You can talk okay. to Tom. You can talk to Tom. <laughs> yeah, you can talk to Tom. All right, uh, the, the, the uh, trade walk is, well, again, we're going to talk about your value proposition before that. Um, let me ask you this. Do you ever get the paperwork from the customer's previous purchase? If they have it, they, sometimes they bring it in, but I've never asked for it. I've never asked for it either. What would it tell you? If they bought anything. It basically, <laughs> it basically tell you everything. Yeah. It would tell you everything about how they bought their last vehicle. I learned this uh, in Los Angeles um, from a BDC department, and I was... Uh, coaching them on telephone skills and they gave me a list of things that they asked the customer uh, you know on the phone and two of the things I'd never heard asked before on the phone and it was absolutely brilliant and it would be um, Franco uh, do you do you have a trade say yes yes okay well I'm gonna give you two bits of advice that you're not going to get from anybody else in California number one bring all the key fobs in you can find Okay, the more key fobs you bring in with your trade-in, the more valuable your trade-in because those things are so doggone expensive to replace. And secondly, dig up the paperwork that you got when you purchased that vehicle. If you'll bring the paperwork in, and we do this for all of our customers, we'll go through the paperwork looking for coverages that you have in place that may increase the value of your trade and may, by the laws in the state of California, get you some money back. They've got people walking into the showrooms like with key fobs and wads of paper. Because what, what happens is management looks at the uh, paperwork, F&I looks at the paperwork, and that's what you guys are. So you saw, you can see how they bought their last vehicle, what they purchased. You can uh, basically gives you a snapshot. And if you know how they bought their last vehicle, it's going to give you a leg up on helping them buy their next vehicle. And you know, when I, and I've, I've done this with customers, and the customer says, why do you want my paperwork? Because they might be just a little bit suspicious, right? Ask me why you want the paperwork. What do you need the paperwork for? Well, two things. A, I want to get you more for your trade, and you may have coverages in place that'll get you more for your trade, and B, if there's uh, some cash back due based on the laws in Illinois, I want to get you some cash back. Now, who's not going to give it to you? Right. The answer is almost anybody is. And think about the customer perspective. Here's a son of a bitch trying to help me get more from my trade and get me some cash back. No salesperson's ever done that for me in my entire life. Might it set you just a little bit apart? It's different. You look like a deer in, he deer, yeah, deer in headlights would. here, okay? <laughs> Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right, the early trade walk is the best time to help the customer see the wisdom of allowing your store to purchase their vehicle. And the early trade walk is the best time to help explain that your dealership is buying more customer trade-ins than ever. What percentage of your customers uh, are trading vehicles in? 70. Yeah, 60, 70. Yeah, 60, 70 percent. Is that high? Is it that high? 
Yeah. I, I hope it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it is. Yeah. It's a pet. I mean, I, I, I'll go a whole month without taking a trade, and then I'll take a trade on every deal night and so on. Well, based on the demographics of your of your customer, I wouldn't think that a lot of them would want to waste a lot of time selling the vehicle themselves. Right. You know, most of the time it's, oh, yeah, we're giving our car to our kids. Well, yeah, yeah, that, that would be different. Yeah. That That's would be different. Do. All right, because customers are in different positions in the sales fund when they arrive, it's hard to difficult, it's difficult to define a specific time for the trade walk. And again, until your